B'Shem Hashem Na'asem Na'atziach. We wanted to wish everybody a very special and happy and joyous Passover. Chag Kasher V'Sameach. May everybody achieve true spiritual freedom. This week's parsha is Metzora, the leper, the leper that had spread bad rumors and did character assassination. This week it talks about when he God afflicts him with this spiritual type of leprosy. So the his purification process is very interesting. It says in the fourth passage on the Pasuk, it says, Vesiva Koen Velakahlemitaher. The coin will take to the person that's getting um, purified to um, pure birds that are kosher, cedar wood, crim- crimson stuff, and hyssop. In Hebrew, it's etz erev ushnitolat ve'ezov. Now the question is, is what do these specific things have to do? What's the ethical lesson, the spiritual lesson that why did God pick these two pure pigeon birds? One of them we slaughter, one of them we let go free to go roam in the wild. And then we take cedar wood and burn it. And then we take shnetulat, which also means... Um, hyssop, which is a very lowly bush, and shni tolat, tolat is like, it means crim, it means um, crimson, like a type of wool, but it also means it has another connotation, another synonym for that word is a uh, worm, like a silkworm, like a tolat. So it's, I saw such a beautiful idea. First of all, it says, birds represent speech. So, we, we slaughter one bird, and then we let the other bird go free. Why is that? Because there's two types of speech. There's a negative type of speech, which is Lashon Hara and spreading rumors Lashon Hara is even if it's true, but it's character assassination. Why do you like people knowing the secret deficiencies of your life, advertising your misfortunes and miscomings and shortcomings? God wants us to be positive people. And that's symbolized, that's why one of, Birds are always chirping. So the bird is a symbolization of this person that's always spreading nonsense and harm, harmful speech. But then, we, why don't we go ahead and slaughter the second bird? The second bird we let free. So it's such a heartwarming idea that the second bir- bird connotates positive speech which means that they say about the Chafetz Chaim which wrote the most important book about the laws of kosher speech and not to harm others and speak positively that he wasn't a person that wouldn't speak at all he would actually be a very talkative and warm personality but he was very meticulous and careful not to say harmful speech. Which means, just because Lashon Hara is such a nuclear, dangerous assassination of people's reputation and characters, and could literally, it's worse than a sharp missile or gun, doesn't mean that we shouldn't have helpful and loving and positive speech. So that's why the, we're telling the, the leper that you have to slaughter and get rid of neg- negative speech based on 
See, one of the things that we do is we burn the cedar tree. Cedar is a very tall tree. Rashi here explains the whole reason this guy says Lashon Hara is because he has gaiva, he's haughty, he's full of himself. And that's why we put the hyssop, which is a low branch, we tell him, be humble. But on the other hand, we teach him a very glorious lesson that just because you got into such a mess and you got thrown out of the camp because of your leprosy and you went through a terrible ordeal doesn't mean you shouldn't speak at all because we need to tell our children and our spouses and our neighbors and our friends and family that we love them and how are they. Like we learn in the ethics of our father, it says, one is obligated even to the non-Jew, even to the custodian, to the post officer, anybody. You always greet the people before they greet you and ask them how they're doing. The number one thing that we have to do, which is the last sentence in the Talmud, in the Mishnah, is shalom. shalom. The greatest blessing is peace. We have to greet our friends with happiness and with a big smile. So therefore, that's why one of the birds we let go and be free, which means on one hand, if we're based on self-worship and jealousy, that type of speech we have to slaughter because it's based on negativity and damaging. Psychologically, we like to shoot down others to make prop ourselves up. That's based on haughtiness and vanity and egotism. That we need to slaughter. But there's a positive speech which literally could save lives. Like the Talmud says that Eliyoha Navi, one of the great rabbis found Eliyoha Navi and he said, which two people belong in the, have a guaranteed portion in the Garden of Eden, in the highest echelons of the world to come, in the eternal paradise? And Elio Anavi showed these two people, which didn't look super religious at all. The rabbi ran after them and he asked them, what do you guys do? Which pious acts do you do? Finally, he realized that their number one job was that anybody that's depressed, they cheer him up through jokes. So that shows that when we thank God, we could use our speech in such a positive way that we could cheer up people from depression, and that's a one-way ticket to, to heaven. So this is perhaps the lesson of Passover. That we, Haggadah... For Magid, the whole night of Passover, we say 15 steps. And we, we sing the praises of the story of the Exodus. Because the reason why we went into exile is because the brother, Joseph said Lashon Hara about the brothers, which created animosity and jealousy. So what is the rectification to that? Positive speech. A whole night. We do what we say in the beginning of every prayer. Adonai safatai tiftach techa. The number one reason God gave us speech is not to create jealousy and harm to people's reputations and create machloket, fights and ill feeling. But on the other hand, it's to sing the praises, see the good in others and see Ultimately, every second appreciate the gift of life and thank God for every of his thousands and millions and hundreds of thousands and tens of thousands of the gift of breath, the gift of life. So may Hashem help us to be very meticulous. You know, after COVID, a lot of times cousins and friends, they see each other after months and you're missing the whole boat if you say Lashon Hara and negative speech at the Seder table. The whole point is, is that we have to be like that free bird that says possible positive speech and gives people a good feeling, gives people hope, takes people out of depression, 
And we should teach others to always count their blessings and see the great gift of life and appreciate their health and wealth and all the other gifts, their family. And that's the ultimate goal. That what's, that's what will purify us. That what will bring Mashiach. And that's what we start the Seder with. That we see every Jew is welcome. We're going to use our speech to welcome any Jew into our house, anybody that's hungry. We don't discriminate. We're not jealous of anybody. We don't have baseless hatred of everybody. And that will be the key to bring Mashiach Sidkenu Bim Herab Yamenu. May everybody have a meaningful and kosher Passover full of blessings and happiness. Amen.